All right, guys, I have something really exciting to show you guys today. We are going to be checking out a very, very cool, iconic, absolutely insane machine that was used in one of my favorite movies. I grew up watching these movies, guys, and to be able to actually see something like this in person, sit inside of it, and possibly I'm hoping that we can work on this thing with the gentleman that is actually working on it. If you guys enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you would leave me a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. And please, at the end, if you do like the video, subscribe to the channel. We post all kinds of cool diesel content like this. And the fact that this thing is LBZ Duramax powered is honestly unreal to me. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, we have something pretty cool going on today. We have Truckmaster with us, We're riding with Bailey in his truck and we just got some lunch truck master is obviously down here for a, another video that we're doing but i wanted to make this a separate video just because of how special this is and how cool this is going to be um, i hope you guys are as excited as we are right now to go finally see this thing in person and maybe we can do more with it in the future but as you guys can tell by the thumbnail and the title we are about to go see the tank the ripsaw duramax powered ripsaw that they used in the movie the Fast and the Furious. Um, we are going to try and point out some of the key features that will show that it was actually the one that was in the movie. So are you excited? <laughs> he's shaking. He's he's shaking with the excitement. I can't, I can't help it, man. This is awesome. And it's Duramax powered, so you know I got to be there for it. I think you should just buy it. Well, you know I brought my uh, Duramax shirt right here, man. You know what I mean? I got to represent it somehow. Yeah. You know they use Duramax in uh, military vehicles for a reason. I can't believe we're finally going to see this thing. I've known that it was pretty close to me for a while, and I've been trying to get over here and do this video, so we wanted to wait until Josh was down here to go do it, and uh, we're gonna just kinda check it out and show it to you guys. Alright guys, well, I kept my word and we did actually make it over here. So this is a, this is my buddy Derek, you guys have seen Derek in a lot of the videos. And this is kind of like his buddy's neighbor, it's a real long story, but long story short, Derek's going to walk us around it a little bit. He has actually drove it before, and I'll put some clips into that. Now you've actually drove this thing. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And everything that we have confirmed so far, this was actually used. We've, we've done a lot of research on it, looking at videos. It was like in the Fast and This Furious, is in like number five. The, Fast, the Fate of the Furious, I believe. 50 horsepower with the M153 Crow's remotely operated weapon station on top. My buddy's neighbor bought it from a museum. But yeah, we, it actually broke down on him and we went over and got it running. Yeah, and like I said, guys, I will put some of those clips in now, but. It was basically just kind of abandoned in the weeds and yeah, Derek was... helped get it going. They drove it for a little bit and now it currently... Kind of the last rip in it, you know, uh, the trans got a little water in it. We didn't check that, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, you a 750 horsepower tank with uh, water in the trans, it, it's going to hurt it. Yeah. So what was it like driving? I mean... Well, honestly, you get in there and it's like, you just, when you get on, it's like... So it's like the whole the whole back of it kind of stands yeah, up, yeah. Does, yeah. So that's so that's how you shift it. Let me move your hand. Let me see that. It's just a sharpie. Yeah, it's just sharpie. But it's got an Allison in it, so it's a Duramax with an Allison. And look at this. So explain the steering. So this right here, you got a little trigger over here. That's your brakes. It has four or I think it has four uh, disc calipers on the nine, four nine inch in the back. And we'll look at that here in a second, but yeah. And then uh, this right here is like just barely turning, and then this is. It's locked. So that, that will lock this whole track. This right here barely turns it and then that locks it. Oh my god. It's pretty unreal. Cool. And then this is like we were looking at clips of the movie. This was actually where they had like a big tablet thing. Yo, Ludacris actually drove this thing right where you're sitting. Yep. How cool. Always want it. All in one. Then we got lights. How cool. Lights in here. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Bailey? I think you need it. Sweet. Someone needs this thing. I would buy it if the odds sell it. I'm not kidding. I'd well, buy if it. anybody wants to go have these. I'd buy it right now. 
Oh my gosh, this is unreal. And then it's just fly by wire, just literally yeah, just out this, of a dirt This right truck. here, uh, the throttle, you'd be driving it and it'll just lose throttle and you have to shut off to restart. Probably have to do with some of the janky wiring right there. So, I mean, this thing needs some work. Yeah, it needs some major work. The transmission, like, it just all neutrals right now. We think some water got into the transmission. No, we don't think, we know. It's pink. Sorry. Ignition, pan. Dude, it's so heavy built. Look at these big cylinders here. Oh, what do you? Oh, that's a good shot of the engine right there. So this is like more of the tradesman package. This is definitely a movie package. Like this is the movie, yeah. yeah this is not like someone's gonna use it all the time. No, Cletus McFarland's it. I mean, I've just been seeing from videos, it's loaded. It's got like nice seats. Yeah, these are just hard, watched... these are hard plastic. And it's got, I'm pretty sure, yeah. You were told it was an LML at least? I was told it was an LML with the 07. We're gonna pop the hood here in a minute, guys, right. but we just wanted to get some good no, shots no, of it. Listen. It's the bonnet. <laughs> it's the, oh, it's the bonnet. <laughs> Shut up. Two video on this. This is a dirt, dirty diamond diesel. Um, we're basically having you explain this story twice. So I apologize yeah. if you're watching the video and you're confused. Yep. But definitely check out his perspective of the video. But man, I tell you what, guy. I will tell you what. If we can go halfsies or <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can go like threesy. Being in the military for 15 years, um, everything is very much in line with this being a military vehicle. I mean, even down to like, for example, I noticed. The older picture that peep, the guys at PPE sent me of this, it's actually military tan, or it's uh, desert tan. Uh, if you see some of the scratches, like right here, you guys can see that. This was painted green. So this was a military tan color. And joystick basically, the turret, and move it left and right and see everything on, on the screen. And this mounts also for a blue force tracker. It's basically, you can track everything on the battlefield right here. Which is my first right here, right? Yeah. What's that first? Here at the back, it looks like it has some gauges. I don't know what exactly this is, but it's got multiple gauges in the back. It has direct port nitrous injection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not a bad way. Yeah, spend, right. Not a bad way to spend 10 grand. <laughs> so it's got a two wheel drive Allison and okay. it's got a. Nine it's got a four nine inch with open and it's got a. Uh, it's very it's got similar. Four to calipers per side. Like. Yeah, it's very similar to Cletus's. When we first drove this thing, these things were like smoking. Were they? Horses stuff, yeah. Was the, uh, was the calipers flopping around like Cletus's? No, I, they weren't flopping around, I don't think. I mean, I didn't, you I, didn't know. I, I didn't look at them, I just took it off. Is it been studded? Is the question. Oh, sure. Dude, it looks like everything's stock in this motor. It could be wrong, it's definitely not studded. Here, point that out, just point that out really That's quick. definitely not studded. No. It look, yeah. Thanks. All right, guys, you can see it does have stock. That's a little too bright. You know, I was looking at, like, I'll show you a screenshot on my phone real quick, but, like, I just screenshotted, like, some of the, very distinct characteristics off this YouTube uh, channel that had pictures of the tank, mm -hmm. or, I'm, or I'm sorry, this is actually from the movie. And you can see like that LED light right there. You can see that right there, right right above the fuel nozzle. I mean, it's installed exactly the same. It's not an LML. Bailey says it's not an LML, but like everything, and now the hatch is obviously open, but like all the characteristics of it, the door handle looks the same. It has the LED pod right there. That's the same. It has the mount for the gun. Like, it, I mean, this is this is pretty obvious, guys. This is the one. Like, you see what that rail looks like? Look at this. Yeah, so it's basically just catching, well, I guess it would make sense. It's just basically catching all the air from underneath here. Did you get pictures of the, uh... The, the caliper from yeah, here. I wonder if we can pop that back yeah, and look at that. Gotta undo all them oh, yeah, you gotta you got them bolted all. Thing. Uh, and it basically illuminates when you're wearing your MBGs. It's really cool. So you'll know, yeah, right here. You guys can see this little white thing right here. It actually glows. You can't see with the naked eye unless you're wearing MBGs or night vision goggles. 
So that's kind of neat. Um, this thing is a piece. Look at that. Do you see this? Yeah, it's heavy. It took two of us to lift that up. Man, they're most, you know, it's almost like they should have like engineered it to where that would kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but it does give you a lot of room. There's a lot of room to work on that thing. Oh, yeah. Some of the other ones we were looking at, you it almost looked like you couldn't even lift that up. There was just a hatch in the back. So, right. I mean, to do anything on this, if you had a, a good overhead hoist, you could just lift that whole drivetrain out of there. You could. You're no, no jokes. Yeah, you probably could. I mean, that's what you're going to need, though. Like, you're not going to be able to get that anything, any of that out with a cherry picker. So if we pull the tractor. trans, yeah, we, we'd probably end up doing it that way. Hey, let's back up really quick. So we have these little numbers right here, which indicates units. So basically what unit they may be affiliated with. So I'm, I'd imagine this is all just for movie prop stuff. But I wonder if this is even part of the... Uh, Okay, so that's more of like an intake here in the back. Yeah. It's just going to sit right down. Where does the exhaust end up? It's just fake. There's nothing behind it. Are you kidding? No, it must just be a movie thing. It's like a fake exhaust. Yeah, it's fake. There's nothing. I don't even think there's there's no soot in it. Right, it was guys. just for the movie. It's a fake exhaust. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is wild. So where's the exhaust? The exhaust actually comes out right there. It rolls nice cold. little hater pipe. She, she a coal roller. Oh yeah. We need to put a, a nice big old like 12 inch exhaust tip. So yeah, it needs a tip. It needs a little trash can. It needs a track dump, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pretty solid unit. Overall. It is. You got the big Did old skid right in here in the front. Here's your shackles in the, right here to tie down points. Yep. It'd be fun just to see, you know, if you could even get something like this stuck. I mean, I'm sure you could eventually, but... Well, I think it'll be fun. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but let's just say, for example, we get our hands on this thing, which is very possible. I mean, it's right in your back. Right. And uh, maybe talk to some folks and maybe... Maybe work something out. Rebuild it and... Uh, get it going good for Get it for back him. to the owner. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are actually over here with kind of the guy that's going to orchestrate this whole deal. We're going to keep the owners of this anonymous, and uh, basically this is his shop, and... We are going to, the plan right now is we're going to help him get a transmission in it and probably some other things. I'm not going to go too much into details because not everything is really lined out right now. But, so it looks like we're going to be able to fix this thing together. So that would yeah. be pretty cool. Um, I think Derek's going to come over and help and Josh is probably going to come back down. But we want to get a trans uh, put together for this thing and be able to drive it. I mean, that's the main thing. We really want to see it drives. But for now, that is going to wrap up the end of this video with the Fate of the Furious Ripsaw Tank. You guys will have to come back. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. This is a really, really cool machine, and we would love to be a part of working on it to get it going and uh, see what it can do. This is the LVZ-powered Duramax tank that was used in the Fast and the Furious movie. Absolutely unreal to be able to see something like that, and I would love to do future videos on it uh, coming up in the next couple videos that we post. If you guys would like to see that as well, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, we have a website, DirtyDiamondDiesel.com. We sell merchandise, key tags, stickers, air dog lift pumps, and all sorts of other cool of other diesel-related products. You can also support us on our Patreon page. Link is in the description for that as well. But for now, we'll see you guys on the next one.